They were always uh, one of the higher ranking classes because of their religious beliefs back then. Um, traders. The Shane trade was enormous. I'm going to go to this next slide real quick that talks about that. And then I'll go back if you guys aren't done. But uh, they, the traders, um, or the Shane, they used cavalry shells as their uh, form of currency. And they could only get, they, they, these cavalry shells weren't available in their region. So they traded with outside regions to um, get these shells. That's why they were so valuable. And that's why I think the, the traders and the artisans, and maybe even the farmers, worked together to get all these trades and get all these cowrie shells. Um, but they could not, they couldn't get them in their region, so that's why they had to trade with outside regions to get these cowrie that shells. Um, Um, these shells, they're like, they're, they're sea snail shells, so I'm guessing, yeah, probably by the beach or somewhere. Because the, the river went through there, so they could have gotten there too, the Yellow River. Yeah. Is it called cowrie shells? Because they have cow and they just want to grow back on the cow. Cowrie. Yeah, you could. Um, I'm not sure why they call it cowrie shells, but yeah, maybe it was a cow. Farmers, the farmers were the largest social class. Um, they did not own their own land. Um, it was owned by either the king or the noble. Um, they grew a lot of uh, barley or wheat, um, nuts. They grew vegetables. Um, they grew rice, fruit. Nuts. Um, they really, they only got to keep the the food that could support their family, and the rest went to the nobles, and the nobles sent a portion to the king. Um, and I don't know what the king did with those, but the farmers could only keep enough money for to provide their family. Yeah. What? Jade. Jade is a hard rock that they use. things too as well. And the farmers, the farmers didn't use bronze um, materials, they mainly used stone or wood for like shovels or um, for their harvesters. And the slaves, um, the slaves are prisoners of war. Um, they brought, they were, Soldiers would bring back many as like 30,000 at a time. They were used as human sacrifices to serve nobles and kings in the afterlife. Um, they, did, they spent most of their lives building tombs and palaces. They didn't really have a social running, they didn't really make money. That means during the war, they were either they were captured or they were, they were like survived. They were like survivors of, at the end of the war, and they would just would be captured by the other army, by the Shang army, and brought back to these kingdoms, and just used. They used them to build tombs and tomb sacrifices. Shang Dynasty, um, 
Italy. The kings were always in constant, they were in warfare all the time. Um, they would be fighting near and far armies. They, the kings and the nobles, they spent a lot, the last king that was in the Shang Dynasty, they spent a lot of time hunting. They spent a lot of money on their palaces, making adjustments in their palaces, their clothing, their tomb. And this led to a weakening in their economy because they weren't really paying attention to the uh, citizens of their kingdom. Um, so around 1045 BCE, a frontier state of, known as Zhao, Zhao um, they came in, they unexpectedly attacked the Shang army and um, took over and basically overthrew the Shang dynasty and uh, any questions? Yeah. Where was the two people? There well at that time the Shang dynasty wasn't like the only civilization there. Uh, there were many other little kingdoms regions, cities, all around, near and far. Um, so I'm pretty, I think I read that the king there just realized that what the Shang king was doing was not right. He was torture and really wasn't paying attention to his citizens and so he wanted to overthrow and went to the capital city and unexpectedly attacked them and, and, and burnt it down and Sure, it's pretty big to take over this dynasty, because but I'm not 100 sure what the actual number was. Yeah. Did they like make all the? Did they like slaves? Um, they might have. Um, we're going to we're going to talk about this more in the next section of the book, but. I'm not 100 percent sure what they did with the survivors. They could, they probably didn't make them slaves or something. So. The king, the king died. They, they think that the king um, took all his jewelry, put it on him, and they, he ran and jumped into a fire. Because I, I don't know why. Maybe he was just embarrassed and didn't want to live anymore because he let. He let his ancestors down. He let the kingdom down. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Would, they, would he have done that because of the afterlife, where if they die with their stuff or be buried or something like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because they put when they were buried in their tombs, they put jewelry in there. They put valuable things, so yeah, maybe you want to take them in the afterlife with them, and so put them on and jump into a fire. Yeah. Um, maybe go to the Shang Dynasty, and then they could get the Yeah, he could have done that, so the king, the Zhao king, couldn't take his jewelry and Sure. I mean, I'm sure the nobles have a lot of, a lot of, like convincing or 